Hey everyone, good morning, it's Dashing Dink. Stick around to the end of the video because we've made some progress. You'll be curious to see what it is, how much, and I'll see you then. All right, good morning everybody. Dashing Dink coming at you with another day of DoorDash. <laughs> so, but we're gonna get the apps opened up here very shortly. We're gonna get started. I just wanted to also say very quickly that, man, in the last couple of days, I've done about 27 deliveries with DoorDash, okay? And 24 or 27, something like that. And our AR has not moved. So we have got to be getting close to pumping this thing up from 96 to 97 at least. So I'm hoping we get at least one point today, uh, maybe two. I would like to think that my declines, wherever they're at, are clustered together. Now, obviously, we know that one of them is on the far back side, but I've probably done about 35 to 40 orders since that took place, so we're getting closer to that one as well, but we've got to be getting close to this thing moving up some. And I think that's probably the most frustrating part is doing all of these orders and trying to get you guys some content about percentage going up and it just stays still. So we're gonna try again today. Uh, I'm sorry that this is dragging out for so long, but who knew? <laughs> we made some ground yesterday at least. We had, uh, we had quite a few deliveries. So um, yeah, we'll jump into it. We'll see when we get an order. All right, as soon as I turn the app on, we got our first order of the day. It is a pickup from the Holiday Gas Station for $7.25. I didn't even look at the miles, but I'm sure it's not too far. And the traffic is horrendous because of school buses and people coming to work. So I'm just kind of sitting here across the street waiting to get across. Good. I'm here to pick up a DoorDash order for Adam. DoorDash. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Have a great day. Yep. Today. Appreciate it, guys. No problem. All right. So, as you guys saw, the order didn't alert them or whatever. So, we had to wait for them to put it together. It didn't take that long. I was probably in there for three or four minutes, but. Anyway, I wanted to get a little bit out of the traffic here before I turn the camera back on. We are actually headed like six miles, so a little over a buck a mile. Not very much, but <laughs> does it matter? We're taking them all, remember? We're taking them all. Um, from this point moving forward, I'm not going to say the date, the day of the week that it is, because if I start to bank some videos and some content um, I don't want you guys thinking that you're seeing a certain day and it's a different day or whatever we're just gonna go out we're gonna DoorDash and we're gonna Instacart and we're gonna try to learn some things I'm gonna try to teach some things and we're just gonna try to go out there and have some good days make some content all right Adam thank you so much for your order enjoy your Red Bull and donuts have a wonderful day. All right, we just got our next order. $2. No tip on this one. $2 to go 1.8 miles from McDonald's. <laughs> and just so everyone is aware, it is a bright, sunshiny day. That's coming through my mirrors. <laughs> uh, so you're going to see the squinty-eyed me today, or this morning. But... We just pulled into the McDonald's parking lot, so we'll run in, we'll grab this $2 order. Thank you guys. Yep, 
All right, we picked up the order. Does anyone else re or, uh, have this happen? So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Does it seem like the orders that have no tip are the biggest orders? This was nine items, four drinks. I'm just like, really? All right, I better let you go before I squint. Yeah, have a good one, man. All right, now you're gonna get the dashing dink rant for a minute. I'm sure many of you can attest to this, but the people who leave no tip are the ones that order the most garbage. They're the ones that give you the novel of instructions, or they give you no instructions at all. They say, hand it to me, and then they're not there. You know, this was an apartment that I can't get into. I There's no buttons to push for the apartments. With a speaker or anything, they can't buzz you in. They physically have to come to the door. Now, he should have been there waiting for me because he can track me on his phone. But I got there, I waited in the hallway, somebody else let me in, and then he texts me like four times in a row, blew up my phone. I went to the door. You weren't at the door. What door are you at? Where are you? So I texted him back. I said, or then he called me. I didn't text him. He called me and he said, I'm at the door, man. What's going on? I said, I'm at your apartment. Somebody let me in. Oh, okay. I'll be right there. Well, then somebody else opened the door and said, thank you. So. <laughs> All right, everyone, we finally got an offer. We've been sitting in the mall parking lot but it is our favorite place to park, so. Whew, that is bright. Better hope I don't hit anybody. But it's a high pay offer. It's $5 to go one mile from Starbucks. So we're gonna cruise down the road here. We'll go grab the Starbucks and we'll get that delivered. Hi. Morning. Stephanie. Two of them. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, guys. Uh, not this time. Maybe if I come back. All right, thanks. Say hi. <laughs> I have an order for Stephanie. All right, there you go. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, everyone. We have been sitting in the mall parking lot, our favorite place to park, for a long time. I have been watching Gig Gal. She is live right now doing DoorDash and Instacart and Spark and all that good stuff. <clears throat> for probably about 15, 20 minutes, but we finally got a 550 going 3.8 miles <laughs> to, or excuse me, from Taco John's, which is right over here. So we'll go over, we'll get it. How's it going, man? Doing wonderful, yeah. except it is extremely slow. <laughs> yeah, it's been slow here too. Yeah, tomorrow will, it will change. It will yeah. change tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> the IRS opened on Monday, so people could do their taxes now. Yeah, I just got my paperwork yesterday. Yeah. I've been ready to file, ready to file like, the start of the year. I'm like, I'm, I'm looking forward to whatever I get back, whatever little amount they're gonna give me. Exactly. So hopefully everything will pick up yeah. <clears throat> and hopefully everyone will be generous. Yeah, 
You guys had to get some stickier tape, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a uh, decision by ownership. <laughs> yeah. It was actually for cost of stickers. Oh, I, I bet, yeah. So yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thanks, man. Well, Appreciate it. Have a good one. Enjoy the next level. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Order for Ron. So, thank you. Have a great day. All right, sorry everyone, I almost forgot to update you. Um, we dropped off the Taco John's order for Ron, and pretty much immediately when we pulled out of there, we got a five dollar. Uh, I'm not even sure how many miles it was going um, from Subway. Now this is the worst Subway in town. It's still early, so I'm hoping, <laughs> I am hoping that they get the order done fast, but we'll see. We're about to head there and we'll see how long we have to wait. Hi. Is that for Taylor? Yep, Taylor. All right. How you guys doing today? Good. Got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> Since we started slicing our own meats and stuff like that, so we gotta. Yeah, that's meats wild. Before it gets too busy and stuff like that. That's wild. <laughs> I mean, at least we don't gotta slice our own cheese. <laughs> Back in the day, when we used to get our cheese, it used to be like a, like in a paper. So every little slice was in a paper. So when you swap it out and take the paper out and then put the cheese and then swap every single piece. So. Oh, wow. But it's not like that. All right, that it? I believe so. Just a sub on there? Yeah, I don't see any chips or anything on my okay. order. So. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Nice. Appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Yeah, you do. All right, so honestly, that could not have worked out any better. Um, they were just finishing it up when we got there. It was nice and early. You know, and I think a lot of these places, it also has to do with who's on staff. Now, I understand and I fully realize a lot of these places are short staffed. And they've got signs all throughout town on every single window, every single door that you pass. Help wanted, help wanted, help wanted. I get that and I do not fault any of these people for the amount of time it takes to get an order done when they are short staffed. What bothers me is that if you go in to a place and you go through the process of setting through an interview and you go through the process of going through the training and all that kind of stuff, just do your job. That is it in a nutshell, just do your job. Don't sit around on your phone. Don't sit around looking at, you know, stuff on the computer, if you work at the computer, whatever the case is. Just do your job and things will run so much smoother, but there's so many people that they just take their time. They wanna go at whatever speed they wanna go at. And it's like, dude, get the job done. These guys were good. They were awesome. I. I I try to build a great rapport with all of my, um, you know, restaurant service workers, with all of my grocery store service workers, whatever the case is, because you have to deal with them on a daily basis. So there's no sense in making enemies out here. Try to show some patience, try to be calm, go outside, take a little breath if you have to, and then come back in, you know, give them a couple more minutes, whatever. But. If they're doing their job, they're doing the best they can, and it's to no fault of theirs that they don't have two or three more people that they're supposed to have on staff during that shift. So I'm trying to stay out of the sun. <laughs> All right, guys, we're taking this over to a place that we go to a lot. 
We'll see you there. I have an order for Taylor. Thank you. Yep, have a wonderful day. All right, we're just pulling out of the uh, law office where we delivered Taylor's subway order. <laughs> and we just received an offer, if you can call it that, $2.51 to go eight miles oh. and as soon as i accepted the offer it said that the order is ready to go so that tells me that this order has already been declined once maybe twice it was probably two dollars and one cent doordash ads usually i think it's a quarter it's either a quarter or 50 cents each time it's declined before they put it back out there so this has been declined once or twice already Let's head on over to McDonald's on the south end of town, pick this order up, and then we're going to the east side of the lake. Thanks. How's it going? Little Mac Don's get you going for the day? Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. Appreciate it. All right, everyone. We just got back to town and DoorDash went off. We got another offer. <laughs> this time it's 325 to go over nine miles because we're not quite back to McDonald's yet but it's going to the exact same place. The exact same place. Now, the good thing about it, if you wanna call it a good thing, is when I delivered the last one, it was a leave at my door, but the guy came out and I handed it to him. And then as I was pulling out, they added an extra 50 cents onto the order. So that went up to $3.01. Now I got one for $3.25. I'm going to the exact same place. Ridiculous. Thanks, guys. Thank you for your order. Appreciate the business. You have a wonderful day. Hey guys, Dashing Dink here. Just wanted to do some closing statements very quickly because I forgot to do them in the car yesterday when um, I was recording. But I wanna thank you guys so much for riding along. I wanna thank you for watching the videos, commenting on the videos, sharing the videos, and of course, subscribing to the channel. I appreciate every bit that you guys um, contribute and I appreciate you guys uh, letting me give you a little bit of entertainment. I hope that you are enjoying yourselves. Very quickly also, we did go up in AR yesterday and I'm going to put that on the screen. So we're slowly still inching forward. Stay tuned for more videos and remember, this is Dashing Dink saying until the next dash.